Sure. I think we're just going to light it tomorrow. Really excited. Woken up in a bad mood today. So we've got a Greg's. We've managed to find a stronger plank and some grip tape, so we're going to make shift our own DIY plank for the K&A because we've heard that some of it is very wild and some of the banks are hard to get off. Firewood, making sure to leave plenty behind and only taking what we need. This is one of the few jobs that Rufus absolutely loves to get involved with. He's just working on some kindling at the moment. Thanks, Rufus. Not a bad haul at all. And two bags of kindling. Whew. It's been a nice little mooring this, but one of the downsides of being under a tree, especially around this time of year, is that your roof gets absolutely covered in leaves. We did try to sweep it a couple of times during the week, but it just sheds so fast, especially when there's loads of wind. So it's just completely covered. Right. Time to set off now. Next stop is Goring and getting out of here might be a little bit tricky because there's loads of low hanging trees, but hopefully it'll be all right. Right, ready? Yeah. I'm gonna push out first. Yeah, and I'll hold the front of the Yeah. That's where we were moored somewhere in those trees. <laughs> we got out of that one unscathed. It's a bit windy today, but it's nothing like it was the other day. And if there's one thing that that mooring taught me is that we can survive on a lot less than we thought we could. The water was really shallow there and we weren't sure whether it was deep enough and it was. The internet was not great, but we survived. The solar wasn't great, but we survived. Quite proud of us. Well and truly autumn now. Bye Wallingford. That was a nice little town. Really nice. No path carved out for us now. The brush is now the river's really wide so we're feeling the full force of it as long as we can keep just going forwards we're all right very pretty though i think we're out of the rowers territory too which is nice because that was annoying <laughs> Careful, baby, it's quite shallow. Shh, you're ruining it. <laughs> Don't give up all this bridge is huge. Wow, it's 
This one wins. One of our dream boats and an entire house as well. <laughs> Just coming into Cleve Lock. Welcome to Goring. Wow. Goring seems nice. Look at it. Look at the forest in the background. That's so nice. It's been ages since we've seen a hill. <laughs> I miss them, there's loads of them. Managed to get on a visit to Moorin. They are, the height of the wood though is a little bit close to our gunnel. We're a little bit scared of if the water level drops or we rock it too much so we can get stuck under it. So I'm gonna bring out one of the river boys. <laughs> Nothing's easy on a boat, is it? No! I'm sweeping off the leaves. No! Internet isn't too bad either. 35 down and 30 up. No That's the best upload speed we've had in quite some time. The wind's actually died down a bit now. And we're gonna have a wander around Goring, see what's about. And we hear that there's rather a good chip shop. have it on good authority here in Goring. The upper floor of this house was where George Michael died. There was runners that we saw this morning going past the boat in Wallingford. They're running 100 miles over two days and we cruised for like two, three hours earlier and they're still only halfway when they get to this point and they're going all the way to Redden and Cane Hill. The timer, the clock for the halfway point, is currently at eight hours. Oh my gosh. Hats off to them. The Catherine Wheel pub that we've just been in is so nice. We were recommended by some locals that just stopped for a little chat and it's really, really good in there. Would definitely recommend it. I love it when that happens. There's a place in Goring called the Goring Diner and it does vegan fish and chips. So we had to. It's time to light the stove. See ya, we're burning the camera too, bye. So the instructions on the fire bricks and the polish said to, for the first light, gradually bring the heat up. So we're just gonna do a few bits of paper and some kindling and then maybe just add like one log on and see how it goes. It's also the first time we've lit it with the throat plate in 
it just feels wrong. I think it's because we had it <laughs> off all year, but we're excited because it's the first fire of the year. We get to be warm again. Here we go. <laughs> So far so good on the fire, it's going pretty smoothly. There was a bit of smoke at the start, but we think that's normal. And with our new fire bricks and the throat plate in, we've only put a few sticks on and it's warm. If we would have had that same amount in last year, it wouldn't probably would have just gone out after about 15 minutes. Yeah, and it's a couple of sticks that's keeping it warm. Not that cold right now, but yeah, it would have gone out. Hopefully we'll actually spend less this winter. <laughs> <laughs> the chips in that place were really good. We tried the vegan fish which was made from banana blossom, which we haven't had before. It was a bit... it was almost good. Props for trying, but it, it just was a bit too stringy for us. Now we're watching Breaking Bad and chilling. With a cosy fire. We hope you enjoyed this nice and chilled episode. Thank you for coming along with us. And as always, a huge thank you for the chips this week. If you want to see more of our videos, they should be linked on the screen now. And check out our socials for more.